along those lines, I do want to touch on kind of at the end since you're coaching more, right? Yeah. We talked about that a little bit, but now you get to share all of these experiences yeah. to hopefully help, you know, in a positive way, help these hopefully. Yeah, help these <laughs> athletes improve not only on the court but off the court as well. Yeah. And then take some of these lessons that we've both learned, right, through athletics mm-hmm. as they navigate their career, whether that's in volleyball or whether that's being an engineer or whatever it is, yeah, right? Yeah. So your coaching kind of approach and style what is it that you really try to help these young what well what age are you coaching for 18s 18. 18. Okay, so, so that, that helps for college yeah yeah so we're we're very excited to have 18s because yeah. i'm like i don't want to go to like 12s or something Got yeah it. like i've played professional volleyball like i want to see some and i know there's a lot yeah. of obstacles so yeah, we're definitely. trying to keep it as positive as possible. <laughs> so when your players listen to this, they're like, oh, yeah. Kupono is super positive. <laughs> yeah. But um, what are some of the things that you're finding maybe in the past few years that it's like, you know, this is making a positive impact on them? Yeah. Um, well, it's very rewarding for starters. Mm-hmm. Um, just hearing them and it's very saying that like they just love to be coached by you or it's refreshing to have a coach that's like gives them a certain freedom on the court whereas some coaches are very strict Mm -hmm. very robotic um very humbling though because you know you play for so many years you know how i know who i am as an athlete Mm -hmm. i don't know who i am as a coach yeah you know what kind of coaching style i really bring Mm -hmm. you know i i've had like hard-ass coaches i've had soft very methodical thinking coaches Uh and what is the best one like there's good coaches in both you know like but what am i you know and i've always i'm very methodical obviously i'm an engineer and i always thought like if i had information Uh when i was younger Mm -hmm. like i would have been 10 times better you know the sooner i get this information the sooner a coach or someone teaches me or if i learn it sooner i would have been way better like Mm -hmm. so that's something i try and instill with them just more technique and skills and just like try and get that iq yeah you know there's some coaches who who let the kids play and let them figure it out for themselves, mm-hmm. which I think is super important. I, I try to do that too, but it's always like, hey, this is the situation that just that you were just in. Mm-hmm. This is these are your options, and this is probably the best option. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. This girl isn't gonna bomb or serve. Yeah, like this, and then we just serve this girl. Let's keep it on her. Like let's not change it. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Let's not go somewhere else. Yeah. Like that's you know stuff mm-hmm. like that that you need to that I've learned over the career, like, but it's all simple stuff. Yeah. But that I started volleyball so late mm-hmm. and just age wise, I wish I started younger yeah. and I would have learned a lot sooner. I feel like yeah. I always just think about that. So yeah. I always, that's kind of what I always think about when I'm coaching. That's, yeah, that's good to hear. I mean, thanks for sharing that because all of our experiences, like we said, that really formulates our coaching style plus all of the other yeah. things that we've been exposed to. Mm-hmm. But even, I think I approach it similarly because, I mean, obviously I'm not the biggest guy, you know, I'm not going to be competitive at super high levels unless it's like something that size doesn't really matter, like baseball or something, I don't know, but that's what I played the longest, ironically. Soccer. (laughs) Soccer. (laughs) Um, But when I think about it too, like, I have to rely so much more on technique and I like, I gravitated to all the coaches that were very technical and you kind of mentioned that too in your career. Yeah, I did too, yeah. being more technical even when i'm doing exercises you know like getting people to understand the importance of the technique that's always been good for me even for weightlifting right like there's no way i'm gonna be able to be efficient and lift the heaviest that i can if i have poor technique i'm not gonna be like the same guy that's like yeah six five 250 pounds right? yeah, that's just definitely. like whatever I can just push this up anytime right so like for <laughs> like, me it's always been that technique aspect yeah. and I, I just you know reflecting or being introspective a little bit I realize now that like okay this is why I approach it like this mm-hmm. but then it becomes challenging because not everyone's gonna receive it the same way right yeah that's the hard part um like we went back to just you you, you have to cater to everyone how, yeah. how weird that is and i didn't figure out that for a while like when i was at uh like i would address every teammate the same and yeah. Yeah. whether that's super aggressive or moderately <laughs> yeah. aggressive like i was just very uh, like i was very intense because they were going to the beach yeah <laughs> something like that you know what i mean just like i'm just an intense player yeah the coaching is a little different mm-hmm. and you need to well you need to learn that obviously in the real world yeah. too and you learn that with maturity but i'm very methodical yeah. and i'm very technical i'm not the most athletic guy mm-hmm. um and i'm gonna beat this person with consistency no 
you know, that's just how I win and that's my strength and just using that strength. Um, I can't really relate to just like super athletic people that just can go over people like, <laughs> yeah. you know, I have to win with, I have to win differently. Yeah. And just knowing that and accepting that is something too as well. But coaching is, uh, is a learning experience. Yeah. Definitely. Because like we said before, like people receive it differently mm. everyone receives it a little differently and that being said like especially when you grow up like mm. when you start playing college and stuff yeah. even if like i'm yelling at you you need to be able to receive that message <laughs> yeah. you yeah. know everyone speaks it differently too uh-huh. whether like they they don't know how to cater but yeah. being a listener is in your control yeah. and knowing that this person is just trying to help you even if they're mm. presenting it in a different yeah. difficult manner like you need to know that they're helping you and you need to accept it and like be receptive of it, yeah. of it as well. And not take it so personal. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know, exactly. I think listening to all of this too, because we've had, you know, Micah obviously come on. Yeah. Tui. Yeah. You know, all people that you grew up playing with, even though they're we're all different. You, yeah. You guys are all different, but I think you guys are all very technical. You know, like the mm. cohesiveness and the yeah. style of, well, I shouldn't say style of play, but like how you guys been brought up, I think, mm. with similar coaches and all of that. Yeah. That's interesting because... You know, you guys all have gone, you know, in your own kind of strengths and weaknesses and paths. Yeah. But I think the coaching style that you guys all grew up playing with yeah. has been very similar that set this base for you guys. Maybe, uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's a Hawaii thing. I don't maybe know. Maybe it's a Hawaii thing, yeah. No, I, th- I think we're a little different uh, mm. personality-wise. Yeah. Tui is very reserved. Yeah. Um, yes. But, man, this guy is so smart. Like, he's always in the right position. No one needs <laughs> to tell him what to do yeah. like people will be yelling at me but like Tui will do it perfectly like yeah. she, you know what I mean and Micah is uh, Micah is Micah's a warrior man this yeah. guy is unreal yeah. and he has another switch that he can go to and yeah. if that competitive switch comes on like you're not winning like this guy <laughs> is done. he's talented man yeah, yeah he's, he's built different yeah